welcome to Lola Lee chat. Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. So I'm going to do a recap and review of the Auntie podcast season one, episode seven. Carlissa did warn us that this episode was a mess. She was right. So the episode starts off with Tia and Carlissa talking. Tia is getting her makeup touched up. Carlissa saying Tokyo called them broke bees. Tony comes back on set saying to Carlissa, say something to me, F up one more time. Then Carlissa starts taking off her shoes and security steps in between them. Tia seems confused, not saying a word. Tony and Carlissa are arguing, both saying they're going to put paws on each other. <sighs> so this episode, they're giving us a behind the scenes view that I actually really like. And it's showing us what has been really happening behind the scenes because a lot of the viewers, including myself, have noticed the tension between Carlissa and Tony. And it seems that it had come to a boiling point. So the director is trying to direct them and Tony is saying that they're telling her to be fake, but Carlissa is actually willing to be professional and continue the show. Tony starts with the fake chit chat that they usually do, but Carlissa said she needed a minute. Then Tony and Carlissa start arguing again. And Tia out of nowhere starts the intro by introducing the cast. And also she introduces who they have as a guest. Carlissa starts arguing with Tony by asking her what's going on. Tony tries to be fake, denying everything. And you know what? I think that Tony at this point just wanted to get the show done so she could go. So Tony says, everything's fine. I'm telling that to your face, which implied that Carlissa did something behind her back. Allegedly, that was my take from it. Tia is trying to keep the peace. Carlissa is tired of Tony bullying her. So I'm thinking this may be a chance for Tia to grab a little camera time, especially with Carlissa and Tony fighting. Tia introduces Big Frida. Big Frida greets the aunties. So Frida lets the ladies know how she can be addressed. It doesn't seem to matter about pronouns because she knows who she is. So for the sake of the recap, I'm just going to say she just to be consistent. And it does say here on Google that Big Frida prefers she or her. So I'm just trying to be respectful. Tia asked how she went viral. She said by just working. Carlos asked what inspired her. Big Frida said her city. Tony asked, have you ever dated any women? The answer was no. She said she's 45. She has never slept with a woman either, has no children. Tia asked how Beyonce found out about her. She doesn't know, but she met her and Kelly Rowland. At a club where they watched her perform. Then Beyonce invited her to her mom's birthday party and she got the call to be on tour with her. Tony asked, you've been dating Devin for 10 years. How do you keep it spicy? She spoke on the longevity of his mom and stepdad's relationship and said, you don't give up on the ones you love. Big Frida said her and her man are monogamous. Her man wants them to get married. Uh, Big Frida shared that she's a lover, not a fighter. She doesn't like that energy. So Big Frida told the ladies what the twerk commandments were. Carlissa asked if her Louisiana community accepts her. She said yes. They are the ones that support her and are responsible for her success. Carlissa asked about her dad. She said her stepdad raised her because her dad was in jail. Her stepdad was tough on her because she was gay and wanted her to be tough so people wouldn't take advantage of her. Tony asked, can you talk about the day you won your Grammy? 
She said she was overwhelmed, very happy. She collected three Grammys. Carlissa wanted to know if she was the top or the bottom or the middle. She said she was all three of them, but in her current relationship, she is the bottom. Devin's the top. Then Carlissa was saying she was bisexual. That just came out of nowhere. Tia asked, what does it mean to be called a trade? She said a hot piece of meat. They're hot. It also could mean different things. And I thought it meant something else. So I'm kind of glad that that was cleared up. So Tony was real quiet and Tia leans to Tony and says something. I think she said to her, hey, ask a question. Tony asked, what is Brister? Frida says, brother, sister. Tony said, has any women come after you for messing with their men? She said, yes. Tony asked her to explain the difference between top and bottom. Tia asked Big Frida, when did you realize you was gay? She said she told her mom and she already knew. Tia asked, was you and Devin together before you became famous? The answer was yes, it was 2006. She was only famous in New Orleans at the time. So Carlissa doesn't have an earpiece. She let production know and they asked the other aunties if they were okay. Tony starts arguing with Tia. Tia is absolutely unbothered. The producers are concerned about the energy of the show. They're saying the energy is not right. Big Frida, you know, she just wants the energy to be good because she wants to give them a good show. She's even willing to reschedule if that would help. Tia gives a pep talk to Tony and Carlissa for them to put their little disagreement behind them. And Tony said she is over it. But Tia said the director is saying their energy is off. And Tony explains, yes, the energy is off because she stopped doing all the work. Meaning she was the one asking all the questions. She was the one leading. She said, you do it, do it, do the work, do what I've been doing. It seems like Tony is getting tired of carrying the show. That's what it's coming across like. That's what it's giving. Carlissa said Tony talks over them. So she, Carlissa's saying, you know, hey, we're trying to do our part, but you talk over us. So you're mad, but we're trying. Tony said to Frida, there are two more people here. She's not going to do it by herself. Frida does not like the energy. Carlissa says to production that they can replace Tokyo Tony if she's not happy. Big Frida said, I do not come here for this and does not want to continue the interview, then walks off the stage. We can hear Big Frida talking to production, saying she's about to leave. She did not come here for this. Then Tokyo Tony and Carlissa head backstage to put their differences aside. They then head outside to reassure Big Frida. While outside, Big Frida needed five minutes because this was very emotional for her and she was actually crying. The aunties feel horrible and they all comfort her. So after a break, everybody heads back on set to continue the interview. Carlissa said she felt bad about Big Frida walking off. She felt the emotion from Frida. Tony asked, what is the biggest blank she ever, you know, had? She said, 13. Oh my God. Wow, 13. Tia asked, what would you do if your man cheated on you? She said, I got to get my lick back, so I'm going to cheat back. Uh, then uh, Tony asked her to show us what she's known for. Frida says, throw it back. And Tony starts to twerk. All the ladies start twerking. Frida's twerking, saying, throw it back. Tony asks, what's the worst thing somebody has ever said to you about being transgender? She said she's not transgender. She's actually non-binary. She explains what that means, that she's in a different category, a person that doesn't identify. So Big Frida explains what all the letters mean in the LGBTQ plus alphabet. Tony asked many bedroom questions. Some of them were like craziest place. 
Uh, Frida says she likes the real thing. Frida likes straight men. She also likes DL men. So Tia is removing her shoes because before Frida leaves, she wants to learn how to do the bounce thing. So then Frida is now talking about her mom. She said her mom died in 2014 and she got real emotional um, talking about her mom because her mom accepted her and she's happy her mom got to see her do some good things. Tia asked what businesses does she have and she said she has the first black owned hotel which will be opening in New Orleans. Tony asked about the misconception of being gay and if anything she saw in her childhood contributed to that. And, you know, Big Frida made it clear that that was not the case for her. Tony asked some real personal questions of Big Frida, asked her if she'd ever been touched. Tia asked her about Dwayne Wade's kid she supports gabrielle and Dwayne, and said we should let children be children those decisions should be made as adults carlis asked if she was on any hormones and she said no frida gives advice to the aunties continue to be the black queens that you are continue to let your light shine bright keep inspiring others remember everything you do people are watching you are role models Carlissa's advice was don't come back to the show all soft. Don't be running off on them. Tony gave her advice and said basically stay fabulous. So that was the end of the interview. And I got to say that, yes, it was very unprofessional the way the aunties were acting in the beginning of the interview. But I wasn't really surprised that it had reached a boiling point. Like I said, we've seen this over the shows that, you know, Tony was bullying Carlissa and, you know, seemingly taking over the show, interrupting them, not letting them ask their questions, just going full throttle. But I do like that Tia had a voice on today's show and she was being very professional all throughout. And she took over the interview while the two ladies were absolutely falling apart. And after their argument, um, you know, with the aunties, I like that they finally got their stuff together for the sake of the guest. And after that, it did become a good interview with a good energy and a good vibe. And, you know, I think that Tia does accept Tokyo's role as the leader and the anchor of the show. Tia has said before that this is her first time on TV. Correct me if I'm wrong. I remember her saying that in a live, but I could be wrong. But I think that Carlissa has to accept the fact that Tony is the star of the show. She really is. I mean, she is natural at this. And I feel like if Carlissa doesn't accept that, they're going to keep repeating this pattern which might be a detriment to the success of the show. I also feel that Tony also has to realize that she's not the only personality on the show. And she needs to give the other ladies a chance to ask their questions as well. And allow the other ladies to shine as well. And they all got to stop talking over each other. They all got to stop trying to fight for their spot. There is no need to fight for their spot. They all got a seat on the show. They were all hired. They got their jobs. So they really got to start working together as a team and put their egos aside. Put their egos aside when they sit on those couches and just come together as sisters. That's what I got to say about that. And I think that Big Frida was a wonderful guest. So I just wanted to say to you guys, I'm literally doing these recaps for you guys. I told you guys that I had canceled my, I had canceled my Zeus membership when Krishan was going through all that BS with Zeus. And I actually reactivated my membership so I could do these recaps for you guys. So please show your appreciation by commenting, liking, sharing this video. I would really appreciate it. And please let me know if you did watch tonight's episode. Let me know what you think about what 
all went down. And thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget, of course, to like, share, and subscribe. I love you guys. Bye. I'll check out this next episode of Aunties. I'm, I'm hoping they don't edit nothing out, but child, we was all the way. People was walking off the set. We done left. <laughs> I left, Tokyo left. Big Frida was like, I'm out of here. This is ghetto. It was a mess. But we was just learning each other. So y'all got to give us a pass on the aunties. Next season will be so much better. We was just learning each other and we wasn't really feeling each other. Y'all know our beef from the internet. So this next episode is going to have a little technical <laughs> difficulties. <laughs> Carter, you are playing not good, so you need to pay attention. Trying to be all in the camera. Yeah, girl, she's trying to do too much. That's my nose, uh, my allergy medicine. Leave that alone, honey. That's not for you.